well guess what back to school 2021 we just got done with registration honk hi <laughs> now you can't see my head junior year ooh, ooh, oh my gosh i'm pretty nervous anyway we're going back to school shopping right now we do need some snacks we need some clothes we need some things we're just gonna like do all of the things that's what this video is this is gonna be like back doing, to school doing all the things back to school shopping and hauls is what we're doing today right now we are at our one and only local thrift store the dressing rooms are now open they have been closed for a year and a half. They are open now. Thank goodness. A hallelujah. Can I get an amen? Amen. amen. So we're gonna go in and fingers crossed we can find some things because she just keeps getting bigger. I don't know what that's about. You just like yeah, every it's like year. A, it's like I'm a human being or something. Every it's just year gross. you just like nothing fits you again because you what? just grew out of it. Like what, what what is this about? She's taller than me now. I am. Mm. Some days I'm taller than dad. I'm yeah, not. it depends on if he's slouching it, it, or not. slouching again, Ted. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going in. Come with us, why don't you? The biggest issue with the shoes is finding your size. Because when you have Sasquatch feet, <laughs> like nothing fits you because everything that's here is a seven. Ah, uh, yes, and we are not We seven. are not a seven. Both of us. What do you wear now? Are you a nine and a half or a ten? Dude, she it. might even be a ten. I got big feet. I kind of like those. And they look small though. They do look small. What's that? Eight, nine. That's not even a real shoe size. Those look good. What size are those? They are. They look new almost. They're like new. They are. A nine. a nine. Okay, well you can try them on. Let's try them. Let's try them. Eight doll hairs. Capri's is an excellent choice for boots, by the way. Those fit. Okay, put the other one on and see, like walk around. Oh, are we feeling this? This is like so me. That is Who totally something Who doesn't weird. love an espadrille? Am I right or am I right? What is this? <laughs> like, who makes this? Why, why would you, why? Why would you? Haley, you have to try these on. I'm not trying to. We have to buy these. You cannot pay me. They're six dollars of glorious. You can't pay me anything. If you ever need baskets, thrift stores are the place to get them. Please do not pay full price at like a Home Goods or a Target or anything. Come to the thrift store. Baskets galore. Oh yeah, if you had a George Foreman in college, give this video a thumbs up. Cause I did. How many whisks does your thrift store have? One, two, three. How many whisks? I didn't even make a dent. Holy smokes. Why do people not want their whisks? I don't even buy mugs. I don't really use them. But I really like this one. Because it looks like it would be perfect for soup. 75 cents. Look at that. There's only one though. So that doesn't seem worth it to me, but oh my gosh, look at all these mugs. Haley's trying on clothes. I have a cart full of like some nice finds, and I'm in my favorite section. <gasps> it's the books. I'll be here for the next hour, okay, bye. Just so you know, Robin Cook is one author that I've read like every single book he's ever written. You should go check out his books. They're like medical dramas, super interesting. I may have donated this one, <laughs> cause I've definitely read it and I used to have it. I don't think I have it anymore. Oh, and him, his are really fun too. So we have done two thrift stores and Haley discovered the joy of thrift store shopping versus full price. Oh my goodness. The only reason we went there is because none of the thrift stores have pants that fit her. Yes. We are here at one last store to get some like layering tanks and things and that's it. And they might have pants, I don't know. We'll, we'll see, we'll see. We'll see. And then we're done. And then we go. <gasps> we are back from the thrift store and it's time for us to eat lunch. And before I show you the total haul of everything that we got, uh, we're gonna eat, we're gonna feed the dog. And speaking of feeding the dog, don't forget to pick up your pet food during all of your back to school shopping as well. It's not all about the kids, it is about the furry friends. And thank you to Solid Gold Pet for sponsoring today's video. And of course, here come the gratuitous shots of the dog. <laughs> 
Solid Gold was the first holistic pet company in America started way back in 1974 by Sissy McGill. Solid Gold is passionate about gut health because a healthy digestive system positively impacts the immune system and overall wellness of pets. And that matters to me because Speedy is now 10 years old, so he is getting up in years. You might even consider him a senior dog at this point. So feeding him a really high quality diet matters to us so he can have the best life he possibly can and feel the best that he can. Solid Gold has a recipe for any dog or cat's dietary needs, including healthy whole grain, grain-free options, wet food, supplements, bone broth for dogs. And yes, they are gonna give my viewers a deal today to save 30% on select Solid Gold products. Go to solidgoldpet.com slash FFM. That's solidgoldpet.com slash FFM to save 30% on a select Solid Gold products. First link down in the doobly-doo, of course. Remember solidgoldpet.com slash FFM. Try it for your dog or cat. They're gonna love it, I guarantee it. Here are all the items that I got today while I was shopping with Haley from the thrift store. So I'm gonna show you everything I got and then at the end I'll show you some of the clothing items that I got from not the thrift store. We'll just start with my favorite item. Look at that! It was a dollar fifty. It was a buck and a half for a Texas flag serving platter. It feels like a chips and salsa dish or maybe like chips and guac, but I'm obsessed with this. I gotta find a way to display it because I'm so happy to have found this at the thrift store. <gasps> Woo! Like I said, in the store, thrift stores are great places to find baskets. I found these two baskets for, uh, this one was $2. This one was $1.50 just for decor in the house. Decor, how do you say that? Decor. De oh. <laughs> this one looks like back of the toilet tank storage to me. This one, I really like square baskets because you put anything in them and they can kind of go anywhere. So I have these two baskets that I found today. Something that my friend Don says is never ever declutter your bunt pan. Well, guess what? Someone did and Christine found it today. This bunt pan was $1.50. It's brand new. This has never been used. It's a bunt. 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 I mean, come on, mine's old and like all scratched up, so I was really excited to find this today. This might seem weird, but I got this white trash can for $2 because I have a trash can like this under my kitchen sink for recycling, and I've had the same one since I was a college student. It's like kind of broken and ripping, so I'm gonna get rid of the broken one and we're just gonna replace it with this white one that is not broken. So that's the plan for this. I didn't just buy stuff for the sake of buying stuff, I was trying to have like a reason I was doing it, so that's what I'm, that's what we have there. And look, a whisk. I have, I think it's a Danish dough whisk. This was 50 cents, and I bet you this has never been used either. The original dough whisk. So I'm pretty excited to add that to my whole whisk collection. Hey Dave, you wanna go give it some whiskey business? <laughs> you're gonna die when you see this one. Dave, you're gonna die when you see this one. Are you ready? You're not ready. You're not ready. I, I'm gonna tell you how much it was first. Five dollars. Oh. This has never been opened. Is this just the attachment? Spiralizer with peel core slicer attachment for the KitchenAid. Well, guess what? We have a KitchenAid that we're giving to Haley when she goes to college. And for $5, she now has this attachment to go with her KitchenAid. It has never been opened. I can't even believe it. Hey Dave, look up how much this costs. On Amazon for 75 and on other places for 115. Did you say 150? 15. 115. Christine got it for five dollars. What a score. I don't know why this was there, but I'm very excited about it. Speaking of things in boxes, guess who found a brand new crock pot in a box? I've been wanting a smaller crock pot for my crock pot videos. This one's like all wrapped up in the plastic, in the styrofoam, eight bucks. Says it's a four quart, but doesn't look like a four quart. Like this looks small. I don't think this is a four quart. They put it in a different box. There's no way that's four quarts. That looks like two quarts. But it still looks brand new. This is the styrofoam for the oval. The box says oval. That's not an oval. So they put it in the wrong box, I guess. But I guarantee this has never been used. And now I have a baby crock pot to do like fondue dips and cheese dips and They had another one, like a antique rival crock pot, not in a box. Well, it wasn't a crock pot, it was a rival, but it was like, it was like $10 and it was kind of gross. <laughs> so I decided to find this one. It's newer, it's better, it's been used less. This You're gonna see it in videos. I did get a couple of mixing bowls. I found this red glass mixing bowl for $2. I really love green and blue colored glass. So I found this set of green glass mixing bowls. These are $1.50 each, there's three of them. Two games today, 
Trivial Pursuit, the original for $2. I tried to open it to see if all the pieces are there, but it's like all taped up. But I figure if they're not, it was only $2 to give it a try. And five crowns for $1. My um, sister-in-law's kids play this. I guess my nieces and nephews play this all the time. Some books, of course. So these are my last thrift store items are the books. Reader's Digest, the best fairy tales, and H.G. Wells, six novels of his. A whole bunch more novels. These ended up, I think these were all like 50 cents each. I don't know much about any of these. Like I've never heard of this set, but they had all three. So I thought I'd give them a shot for 50 cents each. This one's like an award winner. So this looks interesting. I know they made this one a movie, but the book is always better. Fun fact, I don't like most Nicholas Sparks novels. They're, wait, this isn't Nicholas Sparks. That's why it looks so interesting. <laughs> I didn't even read his name. It's Nicholas Evans. I thought it was Nicholas Sparks. And then when I read like the synopsis, I was like, this doesn't sound at all like one of his books. <laughs> Oh my gosh, now I feel really dumb. I'm feeling better now because I was like, I can't believe I just bought a Nicholas Sparks book because I don't like his books. I'm more excited now. Review coming soon. These will all go on my nightstand for current reading. Wanted to show you a pair of shoes I got. They were on clearance for 70% off. They're camo. <laughs> this is at a regular store, but these were like 70% off. What was the original price? Oh, I don't know. Anyway, I got some little sandals, camo sandals, so you won't even be able to see my feet. They'll just disappear. It'll just look like I'm walking on stubs, basically. That's all the stuff that I picked up. Now let's have Haley do her uh, thrift store fashion show. If Haley is taking over, is this the end of Christine? I don't know. Say hello to the new members of the family. <laughs> this shirt is from Down East and I'm just wearing leggings with it. Here's the real kicker. This jacket coat. It's a coat. This. It's technically from Maurice's, but I got it five doll hairs, five dinero, five moolah. <laughs> it's got a hood, like all coats must. Now for the next jacket from Dress Barn. It's kind of hard to tell maybe, but it kind of sparkles. A dark beige color, a light brown, I guess. And I got this one. Hold on. Forgot how much. And I got this one for six dollars for a jacket, and it like does not feel used honestly at all. Like I didn't notice any tears or anything. It looks brand spanking new. I I also got boots. They're just fab boots, and I got them for eight bucks. Look at that good quality. They look like they were never worn. Are they not everything you? hoped for. They're actually so comfortable. The next jacket. This jacket. I adore this jacket. I love it so much. Um, the Ignore the blue. It probably doesn't really go with it right now. But we're not focusing on that. Are there pockets? <gasps> no! Okay, points off. No pockets. It zips up and I have a cute little belt with it. I love belts. Yes. Yes, it just works, man. So this fun little number was also six doll hairs. This jacket was from Express. I never heard of that before, if that helps anyone. Fun fact about this girl. I <laughs> straight into the wall. She loves her flannels. This one was four dollars. Two dollars, isn't this one cute? $2. Next up, we have some shirts. Hey, this is the first shirt. I keep forgetting to check the tag. Oh my gosh. I'm about to rip it off. Four bucks. <laughs> it's this olive green with these cute little leaves on it. And it's tied up here and then it's flowy down here. This next shirt was four bucks and it's probably one of my favorite ones that I got. Hold on, let me go get it. Isn't it so pretty? It's this really cute light blue with these flowers on it. It's nice and flowy. One of my favorite items from this haul is probably this shirt. Okay, next up, I have a dress. 
It's this dress that I got, $4. Isn't it so, like it's really simple, but I love the color. Um, the length is pretty good. It goes, cuts right above my knee. It actually didn't come with the belt. I decided to do that to give it a little pizzazz, give it some character. And I can wear it to church. I can wear it out with people. I can probably wear it to a school dance and get away with it. Like it's so beautiful and I love the color. Kind of matching in my room right now, not gonna lie. All right, now all I have left are some active wear. So you wanna see? Kind of forgot about the cozy stuff. So I got this like charcoal gray and light blue Yellowstone jacket. I mean sweatshirt for six bucks and then just these really simple shorts I got them for like volleyball cover-ups but I might also sleep in them they're so soft and so comfortable one dollar one dollar that's insane okay now into the real activewear <laughs> all together this hashtag not sponsored outfit six bucks four for the adidas long sleeve texture it's so light I love it. I would wear this anywhere, honestly. And then the Adidas shorts, $2. Yeah, cool. Nows look like I play sports. Cause I do. Oh, hey, jumping jacks. Woo, push-ups. Oh yeah, feel the burn. These Nike track pants were $5. They're dark gray. The black line coming up the side. I think they're super flattering. You may recognize this, this part of the house. That's it for my part of the video. I don't know if this is the end of the video or I'm just like a little intermission. Or honestly, if you skip this whole part just to watch my mom. That's cool too. Okay, well thanks for sticking around for this part of the video. Um, let's get back to the true owner of this channel, my mother. Go to my mom. Go. This part's over. Wait, what are you still doing here? Get out of here. Fly away. Okay, seriously. <laughs> We're done. Okay, now that you've seen all of the thrift store shopping, my haul, Haley's haul, let's move into some other items that I grabbed for back to school. This is gonna be like Costco items. I don't know what you do, but like when I do school registration for my kids, like Andrew goes alone. So I take Andrew alone and then Andrew and I go out and get him his back to school items. My boys actually don't need very much. They, I feel like boys are easier to dress for some reason. They just wear like t-shirts and cargo shorts and uh, they're done. And especially with Andrew at the speed of which he is growing, I don't want to invest in a ton of clothes that he's gonna grow out in two months because he is just like bloom, 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 bloom. Andrew, all three of my boys' lists were actually pretty small. But anyway, let me show you the rest of the things that I got, some food, some clothes for my boys, um, maybe a pair of shoes for Andrew. Anyway, go check that out, those hauls right now. We picked up these Saucony Excursion Trail plush, and yeah, he wears a men's nine and a half right now at 14 years old. This is the shoe. It's got a really nice sole. That's one of my biggest issues with kid shoes, and I'm kind of glad he's in adult shoes, is because adult shoes have a really nice rubber sole. Most kid shoes have foam, which is garbaggio. But we picked these up from Famous Footwear, so you know we use those BOGO coupons. Those are Andrew's shoes. Fingers crossed they last longer than six months. <laughs> I think this was from Costco. They had this fleece hoodie and graphic t-shirt set and Andrew liked this one. So he had this happy camper one with this sweatshirt. I thought it was pretty nice. And cause it was at Costco, it wasn't too expensive. And over here, this is the main thing he needed was shorts. Since it's still really warm, we're gonna wait on jeans until it cools off a bit cause he doesn't need those. So we found, I don't know why it says Nike dry fit, but it's a Hurley short. I don't know what that's about. We found both of these shorts and these joggers at Fred Meyer of all places. They do have a clothing section and they were pretty cheap. So we got him a size 16 in this one, Univibe, I don't know, a size 14 in these plaid ones. Those were pretty good. And a pair of gray joggers. He's never really had joggers before, but he was pretty excited about how soft and comfy these were. This along with a pack of socks from Amazon, which I will put a picture of right here. Andrew is pretty much ready for back to school. He really, really didn't need that much. So I'm gonna give these back to him to go put away and let me show you what Ryan got. Since we were already at Costco and Andrew picked up this 
two-piece fleece hoodie and graphic t-shirt, I figured I'd get one for Ryan as well. Ryan is the one as the youngest of three boys that always gets all of the hand-me-downs that are stained and don't fit well and that he never got to pick out. So I find that Ryan's stuff is pretty beat up when he gets it. So Tyler truly doesn't need that much either, but Ryan's the one who like kind of needs some stuff that isn't stained and ripped. I did get one of these for him in a 1012, craving more of the great outdoors and a camo sweatshirt. So I hope he likes that one. Looks pretty good. This is step one of the back to school extravaganza. I went to Costco, Sam's Club, and stepped into Fred Meyer for just a couple of deals. So let's go over them really quickly and then we'll move to the household items that I picked up today. The Honey Nut Cheerios were 99 cents a box at Fred Meyer. So these are going in my storage room for quick breakfasts. I found all of these chocolate chip cookie doughs on clearance. So I got all the ones they had and these you can throw in the freezer and make them later. So that is what I'm gonna be doing. I really like making, I think it makes only 12, oh, makes 24, I guess they're small. I really like making just like one quick batch for lunches for the week. I know that all kids going to school in the United United States, go to public school, get free lunches again this year. But my kids don't really like the lunches that are there. They've been requesting to take lunches from home, which is fine. So I'm just getting a few things for treats like these. You know, I can throw them all in the freezer and then pull one out a week and it'll last me a couple months. These also were 99 cents a box at Fred Meyer's. These freeze beautifully as well. All of these will go into the freezer along with these and then they can just put them in their lunch boxes frozen. And then by the time it's lunchtime, they've thawed enough and they're still cold. Some avocados. Strawberries were a great price at Fred Meyer. I think almost the best I've seen. So I got four pounds of that. These were on sale for about a dollar each. And I'll just, I'll just throw these in the fridge and we'll eat them for breakfast the next couple of days and they'll be gone. Very thrilled to find this bacon today. The regular price, if you can see this, is $5.29. And I only paid $1.99 each. I got all the ones they had, again, all going in the freezer. These are gonna make fun BLTs easy additions to dinners and nice, quick, delicious breakfast. Dave's been asking for more um, flavored water. So I got two containers of the Propel. He said this is one of his favorite ones. I also got the liquid IV, which he loves in tangerine. And actually, if you buy it straight from them, I do have a coupon code for you. So I will leave that down in the doobly-doo below. I believe it's 15% off, just straight off their website, and you get tons of flavors. But this is, I mean, this has really turned into one of our favorite, like, electrolyte and immune support drinks. We love it. My favorite one is the passion fruit flavor, and I love the tangerine as well, and the, and the strawberry. The Zip Fizz were on mega sale today. My favorite flavors are the pink grapefruit and the grape. My favorites. I got uh, two boxes of this. This will last several months. Moving on over, trying to make sure I touched everything. <laughs> Wanted to stock up on butter just for like baking season coming up and I've been baking a lot. I think that Costco has the best price right now. This was $7.99 for four pounds. So I got two of these. Sam's Club was like eight. 50 for four pounds. So Costco beats them out just by a little bit. Chobani drinks were on sale at Sam's Club today. So I got the Chobani yogurt drinks. My kids prefer the yogurt drinks over yogurt. So I'm gonna be trying to buy more of the drinks instead of the cups. I don't know why they like one better than the other, but they do, so that's what we're gonna do. And I got a ton of dried fruit today. Um, I think all of these were from Costco. I tried to get the ones that were only fruit with no added sugar. So I got the organic honey crisp dried apple slices, the dried mango with no added sugar, the pears, that one's for me. I don't think this one has sugar in it. Raisins for Dave, he's been complaining that we were out. Of course, my favorite, Carnation Instant Breakfast for my braces boy every time he gets them tightened. A packet of this and some milk and some banana and peanut butter and a shake makes sure that he gets some calories when he cannot chew. And man, is he getting tall and skinny right now. So calories are where it's at. Because I was so low in my chocolate chip amount. <laughs> I stocked up with the Nestle Toulouse milk chocolate morsels and semi-sweet chocolate morsels. Mmm, mmm. Oh, I'm very excited about holiday baking. I probably shouldn't eat all of them, but I love cookies. Now, time to get everyone to put it away for me. Ha! 
picked up a few things at Fred Meyer today that I'm pretty excited about for some back to school stock up. I saw these 18 count Vital Farms eggs for $3.99. That is half price. They're normally $7.99. I got four cases of those because we're doing a lot of breakfast meal prep. You actually probably already saw that video and the creamy peanut butter at Fred Meyer was only a dollar. So I got 12 of these to stock up my food storage room and I scored on the salad kit. So we're gonna be eating these for lunches for the next couple days, me, Dave, and Haley. So that's three people a day will blow through them really quickly. Three of the avocado ranch are actually already gone because we all had them today as soon as I got home. But I got all kinds of flavors today. This one's delicious. This one's delicious. Also delicious. The Jimmy Dean sausage was $1.99 a pound, which is an amazing price for one of my favorite brands. And the hot is one of my favorite flavors. These freeze wonderfully. These are all going in the freezer. And I did find some sweet Hawaiian hot dog buns for 99 cents on clearance. So I picked up two of those. Hot dogs are always a winner for a cheap, easy lunch or after school snack for my kids. I'm really excited about this and this. In fact, I'm just excited about all of it. These are the food items, so let me show you the household items right now. Here are my household items for this particular shop, so let me tell you what they are. As if you can't tell by looking, am I right or am I right? Some trash bags, Power Flex, 13 gallon, expand and grip drawstring. Do you like it when I read the whole thing? for my boys trash can downstairs. I have not bought bleach in a year and it was time. The store had it and I was out of it. <laughs> Picked up this three pack. This has definitely more expensive than it was a year ago, for sure. I did buy this Keep Cool insulated bag. I've never had one of these before. It was only $8 and I feel like with all of Haley's volleyball tournaments, I need a very large insulated bag for tournament snacks and food and travel in the car. So I was happy to find that. Some more parchment paper, I'm running a little bit low. Yes, I bought bear spray. I already have some, but mine expires this year. And they had this two pack. Most of the places in my area are totally sold out. All of the places I hike, are bare areas. Uh, if you haven't seen any of my hiking, I post most of that on Instagram. So if you don't follow me over there, go check it out. I'll leave a link below. But I do live in like bear country. It is bear country though. Hey, boo -boo. Jackpot. I'm very close to Yellowstone National Park. There are bears everywhere. It's just like a safety thing for us to have bear spray with us. So happy to get that. The Sensodyne Pro Enamel is my favorite toothpaste. You can tell I'm old because I use old person toothpaste now. They came out with the 32 degree heat puffer, uh, what do you call that? <laughs> Quilted jacket. I had one of these in black six years ago and it got so pilly that I ended up getting rid of it, but they had the new ones out. And so I got this fun teal and black color. I wear a size small. They're deceptively warm for how thin they are. Now don't go out in zero degrees and expect to be warm in this, but if it's a little chilly outside, put this on and you're good to go. My favorite thing right there. Inside pockets. Okay, this hand soap, I didn't even need hand soap, but this huge container was on sale for $2.50. I could not believe it. Normally nine or $10. I thought about buying a lot more, but I just got one because I didn't know if they were gonna smell good. But I guess at that price, it doesn't matter how it smells, right? And we're gonna try the Kirkland Tide Pod knockoff, way in below. Is this as good as Tide? Tide Pods are like my favorite thing on the planet. Is this the same? I'm really hoping so because it was a much better price, but if it doesn't work as well as Tide, I'm gonna have to go back to Tide, but we're, we're gonna give it a go and see how it works. Yeah, I think those are all of my household items. For this, it was mostly groceries. That's it, that is all of the hauls. That are, that is, that is. That is all of the hauls for today's video. I hope you enjoyed the shop with me and looking at all of the things. I too am a nosy person and I like to see what people buy. So hope you enjoyed it. Hope you are enjoying this back to school season and the free time that you might also have as your kids are back doing their reading, writing, and arithmetic. And I'll see you in the next video.